Kitchen. Kitchen. Cucina? Cucina. Hey, <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Komosta, beautiful people! Magandang hapon! And welcome back to MGN Diego! Aubo si Ovela! And yes, I said magandang hapon and not magandang umaga because I am releasing my videos a little later nowadays, you know? And I feel like you guys are appreciating that a little bit more, you know? I'm trying to release it after uh, lunchtime for you guys. So I think that's better, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so today's video is not gonna be about singing, but it's still going to be such an interesting video because, you know, I've been reacting to Filipino content for four years and every time I hear you guys speak Tagalog, I hear Spanish words, right? So I decided today to react to a video that is called similarities between Spanish and Filipino. I don't know if here it's just it's Filipino or Tagalog. They're saying Filipino, so we're gonna trust them, right? So I just want to see the similarities here, okay? Uh, but before we start, please, please stay home, stay safe, be careful, be mindful, wash your hands, all right? And of course, uh, don't hesitate to follow me on Instagram at Music Game News. All right, without further ado, let's get to it. Thank you for watching, subscribe here, and please like the video to show your support and appreciation for my work, and turn on the notification bell to be poked for future content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can go first? Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Claudia. I'm from Peru, and my native uh, language is Spanish. Peru. I am Joanne. I'm from Toronto. But uh, from Canada. Yes, baby. I, I'm... I live in Toronto, but I'm from Manila, and I speak Filipino and English. Let's go. So I'll say a word, and then mm -hmm. I can count to three. I like the design of that. It looks like a carpet design, right? But I don't think it's a carpet. Obviously, it's on a table, but I really like the design. And then you both say it at the same time. Oh, okay. Okay. So, first word, kitchen. Kitchen. Cucina? Cucina. Cucina. <laughs> hey, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Cucina. Cucina. You just don't write it the same way. In Arabic, we say the same thing. Cucina. Same. Yeah. Yes. Book. Book. Uh, I have no idea. Libro. 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 Oh, it's like in French. In French, we say livre. Okay, libro, libro. And it's written the exact same way. Awesome. <laughs> same. I love how they're excited. <laughs> A spoon. A spoon. Oh my god. Uh, mm, I don't know. Cuchara. <laughs> Cuchara? Oh, I did not know this word at all. Cuchara. Wow, one with the K and one with the C. I feel like Filipinos use a lot, a lot the the letter K, like kamusta, komusta, komusta kayo. Work. Trabajo, trabajo in Spanish. Trabajo. Hey. <laughs> okay, I know the Spanish one, the one that's written with a J. Uh, I guess Filipinos write with an H. Trabajo, trabajo. <laughs> <laughs> this is my sense. first uh, encounter with a Filipino language. Uh, I don't really? know. <laughs> yeah, ever. <laughs> Shoes. Sapatos. In Arabic, we say sabat. <laughs> Sapatos. Eyo. Eyo. One with a Z and one with an S. A chair. A chair. Uh, I'm not sure. Silla. Celia. Oh, okay. So in Filipino, we say Celia with a Y, but in Spanish, there are two L's. So you pronounce it Cia, right? Yeah. Cia. Cia. Yeah. Depends on if you're Argentinian, you will say Cia. Really? Yeah. Or if you're Colombian, you will say Cia. Cia. 
Bathroom. Ooh, I know this one. Ah. Baño. Baño. Yeah. Wow, you also have the Indian. But you, the Filipinos, write it with the Y after the N, and the Spanish they have that you know that accent. That's how I learned it when I was learning Spanish in high school. Do but Baño. Baño. We don't use the N. We use the P, like N Y. Uh-huh. Yeah, but we do have N-Y. N-Y? Yeah, N-Y. Ah. Baño. Okay, but it, it doesn't have a little... Yeah, but we do have that in our alphabet. Oh, nice. <laughs> apple. Apple, apple, apple. Oh. Manzana. Manzana. Mm. <laughs> right. And again, it's the Z, the difference. The S and the Z. Cheese. Yum, yum, yum. Get it, so. <laughs> Queso. Wow. See, Filipinos just go with the K, man. Horse. Caballo. Caballo. <laughs> oh my god. It's like a hundred percent. I speak Tagalog. Yeah, I just found out. <laughs> my mother tongue is in Tagalog. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, they are so cute. Um, trying to think of something that would be. Oh, umi na mako ng baso. I understood basso, <laughs> which is cup. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. But not the first. Can you repeat the phrase? Like, like. Man, it makes complete sense. I mean, Filipinos were colonized by Spanish people, so yeah. Me you know is drinking. Mm -hmm. And then ajo is me. Okay, my cup. Yeah. yeah, I under I only understood cup. <laughs> <laughs> but like if, if you do it slow, I could understand it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, me gusta el material de la mesa. Me gusta. I like the material. The material of that. Uh, and in French, we say nap. Uh, oh, I don't know in English. Um, you like the material of the table. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the table. We, we use mesas, table. Oh, okay. <laughs> like everything to do with the kitchen normally is, is Spanish. Oh, really? Like bas baso, plato. Really? Yeah. That's yeah, actually yeah. really weird because I found out that even in very similar um, languages, the most um, the most common things like clothing or um, the the things like kitchenware, things like you that you lot. that you use very like yeah, yeah. it's not even in the same in the same language in yeah. different countries. Like we say for Japan one thing, Mexican say other thing, Argentina say yeah, other things, really? Colombian say other things. For the same for skirt, it's never. So it's I find it really yeah. funny that two different languages yeah. have the same names for things very it's common. It's because we were under Spanish and for three hundred years, mm -hmm. so, but we kept our language like Caldero, Alan, what else? What's yeah. that? But I feel like now, because uh, in the previous video that I was watching about Filipinos, if they can speak their own language, you know, they mentioned Taglish, right? So it's a mix of Tagalog and English. But if you think about it, it's a mix of English, Tagalog, and Spanish. So we have to find a word that can uh, mix all of them, you know? Tag... Uh, Taglish span. I don't know. Like <laughs> stove. Yep. Spaglish. Spaglish. There you go. Spaglish. Oh, we don't say Cocina. Igual. The same okay. as, as kitchen. Same word. Come on, give them more words. Yeah. Or stove, kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> what else do we say? Plato. Yeah. Plato. Vaso. Plate. Cuchara. Cuchillo. Cuchillo. Yeah, cuchillo. <laughs> Same. <laughs> What's your scissors? Uh, tijera. Oh, no, no. What's your scissors? Gunting. Gunting. Okay. <laughs> that one, uh, okay. Finally, I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> so you just need to learn maybe like a hundred words. And, and that's it? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like in 1970, like before, 1970s is when they stopped. That's uh, really recent. When they stopped yep. letting, like, making, a, it was mandatory before to speak Spanish. Yeah. And then they stopped in 1970s. But before that, 
That's every like single person, just your generation. generation. See, they have other videos, similarities between Hindi and Filipino, similarities between Spanish and Cebuano. If you like these type of videos and you like the how I, you know, talk about them and react to them, let me know in the comment section below if you want me to, to do more, you know? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you like my opinion about these uh, subjects. That's it. Great. Great job. All right. Hey. <laughs> Oh man, okay, I really enjoyed the video, especially the beginning when he was actually giving them words to say and see if that word is said the same way in both languages. After that, they started freestyling. It was fun, but since the audio quality, you know, is not that great, it wasn't as uh, interesting in my opinion. So if you have other suggestions of videos like these, let me know in the comment section below. I'd be very, very happy and interested to, uh, to watch them and talk about them because languages, I find them fascinating, especially for someone like me who speaks already three and kind of understands, you know, Spanish and now just, you know, a titsy bit of uh, Tagalog or Filipino. Um, yeah, I find it super, super interesting. Uh, it's your turn to tell me in the comment section below your thoughts about this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, thank you so much for, for watching. Maraming maraming salamat po. Uh, very soon I will be releasing a video of uh, Marcelito Pomoy singing hallelujah with his daughter. Guys, I loved that video so much you have no idea. So make sure to check it out. Honestly, I was I was feeling so good while watching that video. It was fantastic. Cannot wait to share that one with you guys. All right. Before you leave, uh, don't forget to like the video, share it, of course, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you for watching. Subscribe here and please like the video to show your support and appreciation for my work and turn on the notification bell to be poked for future content. Yeah, yeah, yeah.